Hey guys, what's up? It's Emily Curl, and we're here at Refinery29 today testing out the right products used the wrong way. Let's do it. So earlier, I had a huge problem. I keep everything in my bag. Do you too? Do you have a big bag? Yeah, yeah. Well, it's not a purse, but yeah, I have you a book have bag. Book and bag <laughs> so earlier, some of the other RT9ers dumped out my giant purse. I'm gonna let you look and see what's left inside. I'm scared. Oh, my. oh God. Oh. <laughs> Wait, is that a quarter? It's money. You never. Who needs an extra <laughs> hair tie covered in dirt and cheese? It. <laughs> Right. So the key, the, the trick to this one is, is you can actually use a lint roller okay. and lint roll out the bag. I feel bad. I feel like this is like free labor on you to like clean out this bag. All right, so apparently you can use this lint roller, clean out the entire bag, because it's definitely needed. There's something dangling from it. <laughs> My favorite is like the, the hair, like the wad of hair. It's like when you clean out your hairbrush. Do you, have you done this with your backpack though? I haven't done that with my backpack. <laughs> oh, that's bad. Oh, man. It's so satisfying, though. It's like so, you feel so clean. It's like picking up all these tiny little, like, crumbs or dirt or anything. There's still, like, lots of large wrappers, but you never know what comes through. Look at that. Only 60 calories on whatever that was. Thomas, on the count of three, we're going to do either a thumbs up if you think this is a good idea, a good alternative, yeah. or an X if you hated it. Okay. One, two, three. Really? Yeah, no. That didn't cut it. Do you see what's still in here? There's like, there's like a whole that, thing. Do you see this though? How else are you gonna clean it? No. I feel like, oh come on, this is dumped <laughs> up all the way. I think you just need to get a new bag at this point. <laughs> <laughs> so they say you can use your friendly neighborhood gelatin dessert mix and make a nice little lip stain out of it. So today we have our gelatin dessert mix. We have a bowl and spoon for mixing. Okay. And we have a little bit of aquaphor to serve as our base. So apparently you can mix these together and create an on-the-go lip stain. I've never tried this before. Do you ever use no, Jell-O as a makeup Jell application? That's crazy. That's so weird. I can't believe you have it. Um, so let's try it out. So open up the packet here. Pour a little bit in there. That could have been an aggressive pour. We'll see. OK, so we'll take a little bit of aquaphor which I do use Agafor on the reg. Get some in there. <laughs> nice, all right. So it's creating, it's just like, can you see? So it's creating some sort of, of paste. Ah, it's like exfoliating with dessert. Kind of looks like you just like ate like a really sugary donut or something and then didn't wipe your mouth. It really doesn't taste that nice either. You missed a step. What? You're supposed to melt it. Melt. Melt, uh, melt the melt the mixture. He's supposed to melt the mixture. That would also that would explain things. Yeah. Yeah. Probably get okay. rid of the like granular like. All right, so Ruby, we have our lip stain slash yeah. lip scrub. <laughs> so I need to know, would you give this a thumbs up or would you exit to use it okay. again? All right, ready on the count of three. Yeah. One, two, three. When. <laughs> But what a, what a valiant effort, you know? Yeah. A, a nice little, Maybe little mixture. Maybe we melted it. You can take this for the road. I'm gonna let you have this. Mm -hmm. This is a gift a gift to you to okay. keep. Okay. To keep that. <sighs> Jess, it's no secret that everyone, you know, has oily skin or that you have to like do a lot of skincare, right? Right. So the team is so gracious and they gave us these like state of the art, great new skincare products that we're gonna test out today. Okay, yeah. <laughs> this is what they gave. So we'll just open these together. Ready? Mm -hmm. Oh Are my God! Ready? Yes. <laughs> Three. Oh wow. Oh yeah. This is good. So who doesn't love a nice toilet seat cover? Am I right? Yeah. Is this from Kiehl's? Like, where is this from? Yeah, it's actually from um, the R29 bathroom. Okay. Nice. <laughs> from from the, the tissue issue. So, so the way this works is apparently this makes for great blotting paper for oily skin. Mm -hmm. So I think what we're gonna do is blot this toilet seat cover. Is it not working? I feel like it's not working. There's nothing like coming off. I think oil blotting sheets must have like a little They have to have a little, a little something in there. Because yeah, I mean, who I would buy so them too. if you could just steal these from your workplace? I don't know which way you're leaning towards. Okay. Yeah, I mean, I keep it close to the chest. So. Yeah, all right. Okay, ready on the count mm -hmm. One, two, three. Absolutely not. <laughs> no. No. Never in a million no. years. Yeah, no. 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 But what yeah. a fun thing to try. Thanks, everybody. 
Hey guys, thanks for watching. I'm Emily Curl, and you just saw me try right products the wrong way. Tune in to see more and click here to subscribe. Can't wait to see you next time.